welcome back users so in the last video we have seen the installation of ubuntu studio 22.04 lts desktop and in this video we will do the detailed review of the ubuntu studio 22.04 lts desktop so let us start this is the first boot after the installation we are doing the cold boot intentionally to give you the first uh, logon experience so if there is any user configuration or the welcome screen is there or the desktop tour is been given it will be given during the first boot up so intentionally we are doing the video in split first section is installation second section is the review of the text so this is the login screen of the ubuntu de uh, desktop 22.04 lts so there is a facility of uh, on screen keyboard also in the case your keyboard doesn't work physical keyboard We are now booted into the Ubuntu 22.04 Studio LTS. In the last uh, LTS version of the Ubuntu Studio, we had the XFC desktop. And in this uh, newer LTS version 22.04, Ubuntu has uh, opted for the KDE desktop. So this is a KDE desktop. In the by default only the top panel there is uh, there is a top panel and okay so we have got the Firefox web browser the studio controls are there the Arder digital audio workstation 6 is there OBS studio is there by default Rita that is digital painting app is there GIMP is there image manipulation program then Caden live video editor is there we got the Digicam, that is a KDD, KD app for uh, editing the photographs. Then we have got the dark table. And finally, we have got the system settings. And on the right, we have got the no input window. Then we have got the volume control. Then there is a ne network manager. Then the notifications, time date and calendar function and finally the minimize maximize all windows icon is there. So okay so in the favorites we have got the Firefox browser discover uh, system uh, software manager. The system settings is there, system monitor is there, so let us check the system monitor, then you got the dolphin file manager and the console terminal. So let us open the system manager, let us, let us check out the RAM usage. Then in the applications, we have got the Aeolus organ emulator. Agor Dejo is the music and audio production session manager. Agor, Agor Dejo Continue is the session manager. Ardor 6 is there. Digital audio workstation. We have got ARC archiving tool. Then there is Ask Ubuntu. Uh, that is the support tool of Ubuntu. Specially made uh, for the uh, Ubuntu Studio and the paid versions of Ubuntu and 81 is the Zeta 81 is the Jack Auto Tuner then we got the Audacity Sound Editor is there Blender is there 
इट इज अ थ्री डी मॉडेलर कार्ला इज द प्लग इन होस्ट कार्ला कंट्रोल इज द प्लग इन होस्ट कंट्रोल वी गॉट द आई सी सी कलर प्रोफाइल वीबर देन देर इज अ स्मॉल लिंक टू द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू बुन टू स्टूडियो देन वी गॉट द डार्क टेबल द डी जी एडिट द ड्रम गिजमो ड्रम किट एडिटर एंड द डी जी कैम दैट इज द फोटो मैनेजमेंट प्रोग्राम ऑफ के टी डी डेस्कटॉप देन द डिस्कवर सॉफ्टवेयर मैनेजर द डॉल्फिन फाइल मैनेजर एक्को मिक्सर इज दट है ओके द सिस्टम मॉनिटर इज जस्ट ओपनिंग अप इट टू कल वाइल बिकॉज यू सी दिस उबुन टू स्टूडियो इट रिक्वायर्स मिनिमम फोर जी बी ऑफ रैम टू वर्क एंड इन फोर जी बी रैम इट इज क्वाइट स्लो आई हैड यूज इट ऑन वन ऑफ माई ओल्ड लैपटॉप्स इट डिडेंट वर्क देर आर लॉट ऑफ शटरिंग एंड फ्रीजिंग ऑफ द विंडो पेन्स सो आई हैड टू रिमूव दैट देन आई इंस्टॉल इट ऑन दिस लैपटॉप आई यूज इट फॉर वीडियो एडिटिंग एंड रेकॉर्डिंग फॉर वन मंथ ऑलमोस्ट only few days back only i removed this because it, it was creating issues even with 8 gb of ram so it it requires 16 gb of ram for this to work properly because there are a lot of tools given and uh, this jar mixer and the other uh, tarla plugin manager they all work in the background so they are always consuming the ram so you see it uses 1.3 gb of ram Out of the 3.8 GB, disk usage is 10.9 GB when it is freshly installed, and the CPU usage uh, in the idle situation is around 3 to 5 percent. But if you want to open one app, suddenly the CPU usage will shoot up. In this uh, distro, I have observed that the CPU usage suddenly shoots up. So if you just open the VLC media player and play a media file, the CPU usage will go up to 40. so the cpu usage is not uh, balanced it is just swinging from very low to very high so uh, <coughs> the ubuntu developers need to work with the cpu governor or else my system is not capable to run this either in bare metal mode or as a virtual machine so if you go to applications let us go to history nothing is there then let us go to the processes we will check out the processes lot of processes are working in the background see the uh, this fluid synth it consumes 227 mb of memory so it, there are um, number of memory hoggers installed in this laptop so this uh, ubuntu studio uses pipeware uh, as the default uh, sound uh, management so pulse audio has been removed and plasma shell is using around 241.2 mb of ram okay now let us go back to the overview still it is now using 11 gb of uh, Hard disk space and 1.4 GB of memory and a loop. Here, the you can see the spike. Earlier it was just 4 or 5 percent CPU usage. Now it has gone to 60.4 percent. So whenever you click any new application or try to close the older application in the foreground, the CPU usage picks up like anything. Now let us go to all applications. Yes, so we were here. Elisa music player has been included. The emoji selector is there. Entangle is the third camera control and capture. It is used to control uh, remote camera through a cable. The NV twenty four control is there. What is that? Just a moment. 
and we 24 control let us open it what it is we will have to check it out meanwhile we go ahead then the okay this is f ff audio mixer this is the firewire audio mixer firewire web browser is as fluids in dssi this is the sound font playing software synthesizer so it is a software synthesizer for synthesizing sounds the foo yc20 i also don't know what is this foo yc20 let us click on it so you will come to know okay 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 this is some kind of uh, yes it is some kind of keys 16 i am not uh, aware of what it is i think you can adjust the bass and the different uh, frequencies and wavelengths i think i am not uh, confident of what it is exactly i think it is to control the sound uh, the bass and volume and pitch of the uh, sound being played so we will close this down so many of the uh, tools given here i have not used i only use uh, kden live obs studio uh, digicam i have not still used the uh, dark table also and creta also i have not used though i am an artist by by choice but i have not used ardor audio i also not use what was that it, it is not opening up the guitar is, this, is there the mono amplifier is there gion kick is the percussion synthesizer then hda jack retask retask the audio jacks for the hda sound driver then hdspc that is the hammerfall dsp control application hdsp mixer hammerfall dsp matrix mixer uh, control G then you see even the mouse uh, inputs they are not working properly because the ram is less 4 gb of ram is insufficient still i am doing a review it is fun to check the limits of your hardware extra is the yama dx7 modeling dssi plugin hydrogen is the drum machine okay image magic is there info center that is kd info center in shape is there input method jack keyboard is there jack mixer is there k cal k color chooser kd connect kd uh, connect sms kd partition manager kden live is there keyboard layout is there kid 3 qt that is the audio tagger the console is there this k system lock krita k wallet manager k write the whole uh, office suit is there libre office suit is there lms is the music production suit I have not used the LMS, but I plan to do. I plan to learn all these tools. Maybe it will take some years to learn them to a certain extent to to an intermediate level. The meter bridge is there. The audio level meter is there. That will be exciting. Let us check it out. Mudita 24 is the Alsa GUI control tool for. Okay, it is not opening up. It opened and then went, uh, I think, closed down or the GUI closed down. Okay, NV24 is nothing but some, some kind of sound card. So that's why the NV24 app was not op opening up because the sound card is not present on this laptop. The uh, package manager is the KDE package manager music uh, music notation that is the Muse Core 3 so you can uh, do your own notations and then try to play those notations using the drum the key tool uh, key tool and the drum tool here and then synthesize it and then record it and then you can upload the your music to your channel say you have got a YouTube channel music YouTube channel then you can play your composition there my plant is there then the new session manager the legacy GUI audio session management okay OBS ocular then the Petri who I not used then the phase harmonic advanced synthesis experiment that I also not use these are all high tech things 
not used by me i am more of a uh, artist uh, drawing and painting i like but i am not used with music music though i have done uh, personally i have done diploma in indian music but i have not played with this uh, electronic uh, music systems and electronic uh, tools i have not done much work in them okay so pulse audio volume control is also there but uh, beneath it it is using the pipe wire system pure data i have not uh, used let us check out what is pure data what is that let us check out okay it is a real time graphical programming environment for live interactive computer music pd works on linux apple os max and okay so this is kind of programming for the live interactive computer music i have not used it maybe some of uh, you might have used this so you might find this ubuntu studio interesting and uh, worth trying out on your system at home okay quasi config ultra configuration is there pass kios htcl the htcl mixer i don't know what is this pass mixer sound volume mixer is there q jack control is the jack control q midi arp is the arpeggiator sequencer it is a midi sequencer q midi net is the midi network q midi root is the midi q midi root q synth is the fluid synth gui okay let us check out the gui okay this is the gui here are the controls for the master gain control restart panic reset setup channels room damp width level of the reverberations the chorus you can add your chorus maybe i will try this out speed depth level it is interesting okay we to try this out one day okay then we have got the qsl irc the irc client is there qwin ff is the media converter rackarack rapid photo downloader is there army rmd dg control control rmd dg so this must be some sound cards yes there are sound cards scan light is there scooper looper is there this is i think for looping the sound so once you create a pattern of sound then you can loop the sound so it will continuously play the same pattern over and over again i think spectacle is the screen capture utility startup disk creator studio controls subtitle editor synfig studio is there to 2d vector animation studio so even the animation artist also will find the ubuntu studio useful for their work system monitor system settings text docs tk this display the text related document that is a latex i think text info is the info for the text info documents thunderbird email client is there ubuntu studio cafe is there so you can use it visit the ubuntu cafe for me also this is very completely new uh, and worth trying but <laughs> i am not that uh, knowledgeable in this uh, sound uh, editing field then the ubuntu studio mailing list is there you can join you can join the ubuntu studio support chat you can there is the ubuntu sound installer also included ubuntu studio website is there ux term is there virtual midi vlc player is there voco screen is there screen screencast creator is there and in the end yes then the x x j d o that is the x jack video monitor is there yoshimi is the synthesizer sound synthesizer and stereo monitoring app is the zeta mui and zeta rave is the stand alone jack reverberation so there are some powerful synthesizers given real time software synthesizer then the 
Zinc add sub FX is the jack, multi channel jack, and OSS is the powerful real time software synthesizer. So it is fully loaded with different synthesizers, jacks. Then the studios are there. I think two studios are there totally. Okay, so the link uh, opens up in Matrix. Continue in browser. Let us check out what happens. So this is the matrix uh, app to communicate with other users of Ubuntu Studio. Uh, we will now close this down. Now let us check out. So in the pro audio production section, so these are the different apps, studios, mixers. Okay, and in graphic design, we got Blender, Darktable, Digicam, Entangle. I will not uh, speak out all the names, but everything is uh, included. Lot of tools are included. Uh, for the, for example, this Pico Pixel is the pixel art image editor is there. So, Synfix Studio is there, 2D Vector Animation Studio. For video production, uh, this is uh, of my use. Blender, I have not used Blender till now, but uh, Kedenla OBS Studio. QF, uh, QWIN FF I have used, Subtitle Editor I have also used, XJack Video Monitor I have not used. I am not that uh, advanced uh, knowledge in uh, video production, but I do basic video production for the, the YouTube. That Up to that I have learned. Then the internet is there a section. The media play, for media playback we got Voco Screen NG, XJ, uh, XJ ADO. Uh, Elisa and VLC media player office is there so settings are there let us go and check the settings okay in the system let us check out okay in the since it is standard KD utilities are there in system yes utilities apps and settings menu is there now let us go and check out Okay. Ask Ubuntu is there, Live Ubuntu support chat, Ubuntu studio website is there, Ubuntu help is there and this is the help center built inside the Ubuntu studio set setup. Okay, this is the nothing but the KD help center is there. I thought maybe some specialist uh, Ubuntu studio help will be there but it is nothing but KD help center only. Let us open the Ubuntu Studio controls. Okay. Ah, here in this uh, Ubuntu Studio controls, you can uh, configure your jack. There can be multiple jacks to accept the audio from different instruments. They all can be bought here to a ja jack hub. So their audio stream, audio or video stream will come inside this machine for. Uh, post uh, editing you can <coughs> you can configure the jack master device no usb or okay it is analog so yes you can input the analog sound uh, through this jack usb no usb master so you need to have a usb master and the different that is the you have, you, you must have a usb hub and in the USB hub, you can uh, input all the jacks from the different uh, audio audio or uh, video devices and then it will collect all the sound and it will be processed here in the studio. So for that, this is given. The jack extra latency is there. You can have low latency also jack. So dummy channel out count capture and playback. So it can play back the dummy channels also for the this is for the testing purposes main output ports are there the system playback one so there will be one output port that is inside the system 
सो इट विल बी मोस्टली अ पल्स वायर और पाइप वायर ऑडियो पोर्ट आउटपुट पोर्ट देन द जैक बैक एंड इज अल्सा यू कैन हैव अ डमी जैक बैक एंड सैम्पलिंग रेट यू कैन चेंज द सैम्पलिंग रेट फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन चेक द चेंज द जैक बफर साइज फ्रॉम हियर एंड दिस जैक पीरियड आई एम नॉट अवेयर वॉट एक्जैक्टली इज द जैक पीरियड एंड यू कैन चेक द जैक स्टेटस हियर यू कैन स्टार्ट और रिस्टार्ट द जैक हियर यू कैन ओपन द डिवाइस मिक्सर ओके दिस इज द डिवाइस मिक्सर so your uh, sound card becomes the device mixer so the different uh, <coughs> audio or video streams coming from the different devices will come inside the uh, the sound card mixer will mix those uh, sound channels and you will get output that output will be also through the pipe wire or pulse audio and here is the pulse audio control so you can configure the input at output devices from here then what uh, the carla is given here but it is not opening i thought i would check out the carla okay it has opened up so carla let us check about so this okay carla plugin host so it hosts the different plugins like L L A D S P A plugin support, D S S I plugin, L V two, V S T two three fluid synth library, S F zero module base, sixty four utilities, D R M P three, Liblo library, Lib, Lib sound file, and the different uh, R T audio. I think the real time audio, real tech audio it must be, real tech MIDI then the Zeta re sampler and the MIDI sequencer you have got. So it supports. the different devices sound cards and all those things so here is the okay okay and the help file okay only so this is the real time jack so that why it is consuming all the memory the cpu governor settings can affect the low latency audio audio works best if the cpu speed is constant for this to happen the cpu governor set to performance or boost cpu governor should be set to performance and boost should be turned off okay the cpu should not uh, be working governor should not be working at performance or boost level it should be only normal levels turning performance off while not uh, while not using low latency audio might increase the battery life on laptop yes that is good so i close this uh, it will take some time to grab all the knowledge here because we are not uh, used all those things maybe some of uh, you might have used this do share uh, how to configure this or if there is some manual we can read and uh, try to grab the knowledge for ourselves this is the jack session management so you can start agor dejo start ray session start new session manager these are the self connect request to external ports fail save all uh, fail fail all self connect request ignore all self connect request the different kind of request are there the pulse bridging is there i i know I, i don't have much idea about this i'm just checking out like you only i'm a curious person okay i uh, will close this down so it will take some time to learn all all these things are there but it uh, this uh, ubuntu studio is not working on my system i got uh, intel i3 processor 10 generation along with 8 gb ddr4 ram but i think the ram is less i think require 16 gb of ram minimum to to make the ubuntu studio 22.04 lts version work properly now let us check out the wallpapers and some uh, other things okay so not many wallpapers are given only the ubuntu studio dark and the lighter uh, wallpaper is there on, along with the honeywell <coughs> wallpaper 
this dynamic numbers is not working okay and if you uh, try to get new wallpapers it will open up the kd look dot organization wallpapers so some great wallpapers are there of course you can download them yeah, this is also good looking this is excellent this is also good one so you can install as you wish now let us go to settings check out the versions of the KDE desktop so it is using KDE Plasma version 5.24.4 KDE Frameworks version 5.92 Qt version is 5.15.3 and the kernel version is 5.15 low latency that is the real time kernel they are using so so friends, we have seen the Ubuntu 22.04 LTS desktop using the KDE desktop technologies. We have seen the audio video uh, tools that are included in this uh, specialist uh, distro for the audio video people, the digital artists and the photographers. The digital artists and the photographers so it is a great uh, boon for the creative people to use this distro with all the tools included by default so they need not uh, search for the right tools here and there everything is included they have just to start working uh, on their art using this Ubuntu Studio 22.04 LTS desktop. We stop our video here. Thank you very much. Bye. See you.